I've been living on the island for some 40, 45 years, and uh, I happened to teach history out of the high school for 30 or more of those years. And this is an island that has incredible history. Okay, it's got fantastic history because being an island that has a maritime heritage, there is estimate that there are 600 shipwrecks, okay, just around this island since the white man first ventured into this territory. Uh, one is the Buckley, okay, to the west of uh, Little Current, and the other is the India, okay, that is just off the Mary Islands, about three or four kilometers from the town bridge. It's a wonderful old ship. They called them timber hookers, okay, or lumber hookers, and they were simply old steamships that perhaps one day carried wheat or coal, but now were simply carrying logs uh, and timber down to the markets in the United States. Well, the India was an interesting old thing. I think she was some 220 feet long or so and about 500 tons. Last of the wooden freighters, okay, that sailed the Great Lakes. Uh, but anyway, yeah, she was loading lumber down at uh, the Marys and the rumor had it, okay, that this was a, an insurance job, that they set it on fire and, uh, uh, you know, sort of <laughs> made it to land safely. The story goes that part of the crew were trying to put out a fire in one part of the boat, and uh, others were trying to set them in another part. Captain Everett Ferguson, who was first mate on the India, said that it was uh, an insurance job. And uh, part of the crew who were in, it weren't in on it were trying to put out the fires and uh, others who were, were trying to set them, and the ones who set them prevailed, and that was the end of the India, which had a good bit of insurance on it. The India lies in about 25 feet of water tops, um, east of Little Current, and uh, due north of West Mary Island. Parts of it protrude from the water, so it's pretty easy to spot from the surface. We entered uh, from the, the, uh, the bow of the boat, very easy to uh, find, and we swam through it because it was split open. Uh, the interior of the boat, uh, about 25, 30 feet in uh, width, was uh, full of debris from the wreck and a few fish, not some nice bass, and uh, some seaweed. Some melodia was growing on the inside. When we'd get close to the bottom, it would stir it up. And other than that, it was crystal clear, uh, about 40 feet visibility total. So spectacular view of the, of the boat as we swam through. Cables are down, steel cables, uh, pipes, uh, some rigging. Uh, as we swam to the, uh, the, the rear of the boat, um, we came across the boilers near the, the, the back there. It looked like they had split open, as if there had been an explosion from um, overpressurization. The propeller is uh, outside the boat, uh, about 10 feet off the, 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 the aft, and uh, in perfect shape. It's upright, not flat on the bottom. There are two markers on the India, and they explain when it went down and uh, that nobody died in the, uh, the wreck that had caught on fire, and another ship had come by. and and rescued those few people who couldn't swim to shore. Uh, very fun dive, clear. Uh, it takes about an hour to swim the length of it and back inside it and then outside the, the hull um, along the base and back. Uh, very fun dive, very easy. It can be snorkeled. As I said, about 20, 25 feet depth maximum. Uh, plenty of debris to look at. And uh, the innards, the guts, the wires, the steel cables, the pipes are pretty much still all there. 